Big comeback for RIT in the second half and that fourth quarter where they dominate things and finally get even and eventually win it in overtime with head coach Jay Coonan. Let's, let's go back to the first three quarters of this game. The mental part of the game where you had to convince your team, hey, we're, we're still not far away. We just got to keep at it and keep chipping away. And eventually you do find what you need in the fourth quarter and get this game even. But what was it like patrolling through those first three quarters trying to convince yeah. your club, hey, we're, we're still here. We're still right there. Certainly a rough three quarters for us. I mean, a lot of turnovers. Um, seemed like a lot of the calls and bounces, you know, kind of went in favor of Cabrini. Uh, but give them credit, they were hustling all over the field. Um, we said that at, at, at the half that we just need to stick with what we do and, and come up with some extra possessions. Ground balls and clears were kind of key. We kept telling the guys the ground balls, the clears uh, are, are vital in the second half to make sure our offense got possession. And in the fourth quarter, we did a nice job of that. Hey, you outshot him 18-3 in the fourth quarter and really had possession probably for 13 minutes of the 15 on the clock in that fourth quarter. If anything, what changed for your club that obviously they dominated possession uh, of the ball? Uh, a few things. I mean, uh, we won – you know, some clean face-offs. We put Maddie in, right. Matt Hosick in uh, for the last couple, and, and he, you know, took care of business and got the ball for us. We cleared the ball. Um, you know, we, we'd failed on a few early on. And um, their goalie, you know, we, we missed a bunch of shots, but we were getting opportunities. And, you know, he didn't make any clean saves and, and catch the ball. Um, and, and we clawed and rode, our, rode the ball back a few times. So a uh, combination of a little bit of everything. Um, but it's, it's what we're – you know, we're pressing upon the guys that to stick with the rides, stick with the hustle, um, and, and good things will happen. Obviously, a great two-man game there at the end. Just take us through that last goal that Levitt gets you to to win the game there. Honestly, I didn't really see exactly what happened. I uh, um, I, I turned, I looked back, I saw. I think Ryan picked the ball up off the end line, I believe, and it, it, it looked like like uh, Chevy. We call him Chevy. Mm -hmm. uh, cut cut downhill, and he fed it to him like they do all the time, and you know he finished the ball. So not exactly sure what happened. I uh, need to see a replay. For this kind of game, what does this do for you later on in the year? Because you know it gets tougher as the season goes along, maybe even in postseason play where you may fall behind a good team like this. Mm -hmm. How much will you be able to point back to this game and say, hey, fellas, we've been here before. We can do this. How much does this help you going forward here? Uh, you know, I think a great deal. Um, to face a bit of adversity and, and handle the adversity uh, and kind of step up in those big situations uh, shows a lot of character on our guys' part. Um, hopefully, you know, we talk about it all the time. We need to continue to, to work, but more importantly, improve on a daily basis. Um, you know, I think this just helps our team grow. Uh, they're certainly excited to come out, with, come out of that with a win. Uh, we didn't play our best. We know that. We're just going to need to improve in the future. All right, congratulations on the 2-0 and weekend here, Thank and good you. luck the rest of the year. Thank you very much. All right, Jay Coon joining us here. RIT wins it in overtime over Cabrini by a count of 11-10. to 10.